What's going on, boys? Today we're going to be talking a bit about TI. How it feels. With some actual spitty rain going on in the background. TI's most fundamental aspect is the notion everything has a cause. Something useful appears out of nowhere. TE types show up and figure out all the different things you can do with this wonderful something. TI types see all the neat stuff TE types are doing with this something and they want in, but they don't know how to use it, or they can't use it without extreme work. So instead, they try to figure out what caused this magnificent something to appear in the first place. Their thinking being, if we can figure out what caused this to happen in the first place, we can recreate it. And once we can recreate it, one, we have an advantage over the people who are just doing, doing things we can't or we struggle with, and two, we can make other interesting things happen. We can pull new magnificent somethings out of the ether. When something interests a TI type, they see value in it, what can we do with it is going to be at the back of their minds, but most of their conscious thinking will be spent on what makes this tick. Now, how TI feels. If you're a TI Dom, you'll be spending all your time aligning sticks in your head, or retracing steps, or trying to explain the process by which something operates to nobody. This thing seems to be the case. What makes it so? And once we've figured it out enough, how can we rearrange components to produce superior results? Or, what all would you need to recreate this thing elsewhere? There's this idea about TI types that they are interested in learning everything. That is not the case. While I think it's an assumption of TI every piece of information can be useful somewhere, the individual's results judgment value, not in the moral value sense, but in the value value sense, decides what they're going to get hyper-specific about. And with that specificity comes a sense of knowing. And that sense is a sticking point between TI types and the world, especially other TI types. You'll study something enough you can make predictions about it based on the smaller components you're seeing right now. The issue is, until you see it for certain, you don't really know. Even though you feel like you know, and depending on how much you've studied, you probably do know, but you don't certainly know. I think that's the reason ITPs in particular get mouthy. They probably know something, but they don't certainly know something. And while their thinking will inform their decisions, it's easy for other people to call them stupid at this point. Until the conclusion happens, their theories aren't certain, and the fact there isn't a conclusion yet leads most people to believe there won't be a conclusion. And the ITP's theory is complete nonsense. And conveniently, when the conclusion does happen, if it happens, it might not happen, but it probably will, people conveniently forget the ITP's theory. So as a TI Dom, you're in this difficult spot of high-level, trust me, bro. That position isn't one you'll convince people with easily. It's vulnerable to attack if people come at you, and you are aware of the way you look thinking and talking about your theories because 
even if you're 100% certain, which if you're a TI Dom, you probably won't be inside, you're still operating within possibilities, not certainties. And you tack inferior FE and nemesis TE onto that. It's not a good place to be. Not a fun place to be, rather. You feel an overwhelming pressure to impress people or please people with material using the theoretical. You're in the position you need to produce something from nothing. That's why ITPs mouth off and get annoying. They need to justify their theories and themselves. Something interesting about ISTPs I've noticed they come off as the ultimate critics and skeptics claiming all these grand ideas can't happen, don't exist, and the most direct, most obvious solution is the true one, which is an annoying trait you see often in FPs, but the difference is ISTPs are thinking about these things. If you relax them into a position they know they aren't going to be judged or challenged, they'll start entertaining and discussing theories in what most people would consider an INTP sort of way. TI is always thinking about things but when you're talking about TI, you're also talking about FE, the need to be accepted, to justify oneself. I think ISTPs are inclined to criticize the theoretical because their, th their theories are founded on SE. They need SE to build their theories and justify their theories and anything too theoretical would threaten their theories, threaten their ability to justify themselves. I think that's also one of the reasons INTPs are so critical of the apparent. If we theorized solely based off what's most obvious, we would not be able to produce results or justify ourselves. ISTPs have moments of maybe all this Wambo jambo stuff is actually happening and that's frightening and INTPs have moments of maybe all this wambo jambo stuff I'm thinking about is nonsense both are crushing and distressing I want to return to TI's knowing or the sense of what's going to happen even though TI is all about retracing and reconstruction, there is a difficult to explain knowing instinct. It's intuitive. The, the best way to describe it, Hemingway called it a shockproof shit detector. You might not be able to figure out a correct answer on the spot, but you will almost always know a wrong answer immediately. You don't need to go over each individual stick to know the sticks aren't lined up. Protective TI works faster and more reliably than creative TI does. You'll think about that instinct later and figure out why it happened. You'll figure out all the sticks that didn't line up, but you will instinctively immediately know something didn't line up. It's like spidey senses. You can't tell someone what they should do, but you can tell them a thousand things they shouldn't do. I'm guessing that's because shooting a correct answer from the hip is difficult and not in our wheelhouse, but avoiding a hole in the ground is second nature.
because we've seen all the holes already. And even when you are trying to explain something correct, TI is an instincty function. In grading papers, I've noticed TI types have trouble meeting word counts. They write introduction, A, B, C, D, conclusion. All with very little explanation or exploration. Because to them, the math connecting these points leading to the conclusion should be self-evident. With INTPs, it might not seem that way once we get going, because we like talking, we like explaining things, but that's because we are connecting many different theories all at once. If you ask us to explain one in detail, it will be short. And if you ask us to explain a hazier, but still, in our minds, sure, knowing sense, we'll have a hard time because we trust our knowing sense, and it will probably pay off, or at least part of it, at least part of it, because that sense is founded on all our other retracings and reconstructions, but putting it into words, explaining it, isn't always clear. I bring up the instinctive side because on the social level, TI types will try to have an answer for everything. Having a detailed and correct answer for everything is not the way TI works, and it certainly isn't the way it feels. If a TI type seems to have an answer for everything, two things are happening. One, they need or want you to think they have an answer for everything. And two, they're probably feeding you bad information to achieve the former. TI does not look or feel like a neat, correct theory of everything. It looks more like a series of filing cabinets filled with incomplete cookbooks, with someone standing on the other side of the room, staring at them with their hand on their chin, thinking, what even is a pie and why do I care? Retracings, reconstructions, simulations, experiences, and hunches. That is how T.I. feels. But that about rippity wraps this one up. I hope you enjoyed watching because I certainly enjoyed making it. Like if you enjoyed because it helps me out a lot. Subscribe if you haven't because we do this shit sometimes. And comment your thoughts because I love hearing from you. What do you think about T.I.? Thanks again for watching everybody. Really, we have a lot of fun on this channel. So much fun. In fact, you can squirt it on your hands and rub it all over your shoulders. That's how much we have on this channel. And I look forward to doing this with you guys again in the future.